Now, I broke my finger as a child. Terrible accident. Timothy Craddock pushed me in the lobelia. Awful, awful incident. I've tried to, to erase it from my memory. But, no, Timothy Craddock pushed me, he did, right into the lobelia. Broke the finger. It was like that. <laughs> Actually, it might have been that one. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Anyway, crying, I went to my mother. And she took me to the hospital, as you did in those days. Well, she said to the doctor, look at his finger, it's hanging off. Is it fixable? Will you be able to do something with it? He said, listen, have no fear, Mrs. Riley. She said, but will he be able to play the piano? The doctor said, absolutely. Don't worry, he'll be able to play excellent piano when we fix that finger. No trouble at all. She said, that's good because he couldn't play before the accident. No, no, that's, that's not the story. The story is, though, about a, a piano. I was sent off by my picture editor to London to do a shoot. And it was for a television station, Channel 4, I remember. And they were showing us all the wonderful things that were going to be coming on Channel 4 at Christmas. And all the stars were there. All the different celebrities and stars for us to photograph. And uh, one of these stars was Jules Holland. Great pianist. And he's sitting there in the lobby of the Dorchester. Because I've arrived early. I thought I'd get a little gin and tonic, sit and wait for the stars to arrive. But now he's there in the lobby at the Dorchester playing the piano. Just like that. <laughs> Might have been like that. But I said, hmm, to myself, let's go and have a chat to him. And he was a lovely, lovely guy. And uh, he was talking, playing away on this, on this piano. Um, it was a, uh, a, a laughing piano, uh, uh, a Yamaha. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. It was a Steinway, a Steinway piano, only the best. And he's sitting there on this piano and he's talking to me and he said, do you play? Well, do I play? No, of course I don't. Uh, he said, would you like to play the piano? Would you like to be able to say to people, you've played the piano with Jules Holland? I said, uh, yes, that'd be very, very nice. And, uh, and so I sat next to him and he started playing this wonderful honky-tonk piano. <laughs> was that honky-tonk piano? Oh, okay, <laughs> perhaps not. Anyway, he was playing the piano. And he said to me, when I nod my head, you press that key at the top. And it was absolutely fabulous because he played the piano and every time he needed that very high note, I played it. And everybody listened in the Dorchester. Everybody clapped and sang along. And at the end, they all gave us a round of applause. And it was a, a really good, true story. Uh, before we did the pictures, I did then did the pictures of Jules Holland at the piano. And, and, and he was great. And I really enjoyed that. But I have my claim to fame there. I have played piano with uh, Jules Holland. And um, our picture editor, actually, uh, was a big pianist. I knew that he, that he enjoyed the, the piano, so I, uh, I phoned him up on the way back and I said, you'll never believe this. I got to play piano with the great Jules Holland. And oh, the noise that came down. He, he was a very volatile character, our picture editor. The noise, that should have been me. <laughs> it, was, it could get very, very angry. You know, but I, I always said, you know, uh, his bark was worse than his bite. <laughs> Sorry, that was awful.